right, welcome back to Las Vegas style. Have we got news for you? That's right, you're probably wondering where's Melanie James? Well, Melanie James was down at the Sands Convention Center for a very important show. That's right, guns were ablazing. Let me see your guns, ladies. <laughs> Get them going. Why are they all pointing at Mike? I it was don't the know. shot show. Now, I would have gone. I thought it was shot, 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 shots. No, nope, but it was the gun show called the shot show. And Melanie James was on hand to handle the weapons. Check it out. Hi, I'm Melanie James, and we are here at the Rook booth at the Sands Convention Center in Las Vegas for the 2011 shot show. Stay tuned because we're going to have a walk around and see what's going on. Well, this is Colt Firearms. I'm in charge of their custom products. Uh, one thing about Colt is we make a lot of custom firearms. They're a little bit expensive, but they're, they're all custom made by hand. So they're just beautiful products that we make for people that are very discriminating buyer. Fantastic. Now, the one thing that I noticed on uh, gunbroker.com was that there is a uh, gun up for auction, correct? That's correct? And so far, I just had a look, and um, you guys have it right here. Do you know what it's going for right now? I checked yesterday. It was $82,750 yesterday. Now, yeah. tomorrow it closes, so we expect a little bit more activity before the end of the close, which is at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Okay, can you show us the gun and maybe sure. tell us a little bit about it? This gun here is a 1911. Now, the 1911 is, is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year, in 2011. Uh, we were approached by the National Shooting Sports Foundation, the hosts of the show, to produce a SHOT Show Gun of the Year for, for 2011. And that's what you're looking at here. This was done in our custom shop by our Colt engravers, our master engravers. You'll see various Colt in, uh, gold inlays, all done by hand. So do you think the, it'll go up from 82750 You know, it's a guess. I would guess there'll be a few more thousand thrown in there at the end. Yeah, is it what you expected? Uh, it's much more than we expected. And we're very happy. And I know so is the Hunting Heritage Trust. Very happy. Fantastic. We're uh, with Tim at Colt, and uh, you've now just seen the $82,750 gun that's up for auction on gunbroker.com. You can spin that thing all day, do a side spin, take that around the world, or I heard there was cowboys who could flip those things in the air and catch them. I thought flipping it backwards, forwards, stop the flip halfway through, come back the other way. Or you could just forget that, the stop, and just tap it back with a barrel tap. And then I was thinking, what if you could just balance that thing on your palm? Now I'm going to try to get this clean for you. See if we can get that one. How about you that? You have nonstop energy. So how long have you been doing this for? All day. My hands are so tired. I mean, in your I've life. I've been doing this all day. In your life. How long have you actually been I'm uh, ready for a drink. We should go get a drink. We should get a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we might just go get a drink. In my now. life, I've been Who's playing it? with guns since I was a kid with a cap gun. Really? Who didn't, right? Probably That's the maybe. piano right there. Look at that thing. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much. We're My here pleasure. at Piata and uh, I'm Johnny Hotshot. Check it out. Hotshotperformer.com. You can catch me there too. See some video. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thanks, Molly. Okay, so we're here with Pam. Pam, tell us a little bit about everything here. Um, well, I'm Pam Zates, and this is She Outdoor Apparel. Um, this is about our sixth shot show. If you come inside, I'll show you what we have new for this year. Fantastic. Let's go. So do you find that more women are starting to hunt and buy clothes and things like that, or is it, you know, like a steady pace over the last six years? We have been on absolute fast growth the last five or six years, but um, I don't think that, I think more women are getting involved in the outdoors. Um, I think that they've always been involved, but now that word's getting out, that now there's actually gear made and designed by women for women. It's not just size down men's clothes, it's actually cut for women. I think they're so excited, they're just coming in by the droves. I have to admit, that is a good thing. When I uh, was snowboarding all the time, I'd always be wearing men's pants, and then I did find some women's, and I was excited. So, who actually designed everything? Do you have a team, or is it yourself? Well, now we have a team. Initially, I you know, started the sketches. It came from, and I, I was going to Africa on safari, and started shopping for some clothes, and realized, 
you know, not only was there not any camo clothes, but there wasn't any safari clothes. So our entire line started with safari apparel. I actually went to Africa in 2005 with my first six designs. And I just sketched them up. I had them made, and off I went. And when word got out, I placed an ad. Word got out, and women just started calling and calling. And so now we have a team that works on it. Amazing. So where can we find your uh, She Outdoor Apparel? Actually, we're in close to 700 stores now, um, Bass Pro, Cabela's, L.L. Bean. But we also have online at www.shesafari.com. Okay, so www.shesafari.com. I'm sorry, this has to be the shiniest gun I have ever seen. It's shinier than pretty much uh, any any of the shoes I wear, that's for sure. But uh, uh, Yep, real cowboys shoot colts, so this is the colt. <laughs> So Glock is how old? How long has it been around for? Uh, this year we're celebrating our 25th anniversary. Okay. 25 years. And it's one of the most popular with? It is, it is one of the most popular with, with the law enforcement. About We have about 70-something percent of the law enforcement just in the United States, about 90 percent you know, around, around the world. Okay, I have a really strange question. I saw Steven Seagal walking around before. Does he have, uh, does he have a Glock? I don't think he carries a Glock. I don't think so. But I carry one myself personally for 10 years on duty as a deputy sheriff, uh, SWAT instructor. Uh, so Glock 22 was my was my gun of choice. Okay. Do you sleep with it under your pillow at nighttime? Not under my pillow, but definitely on my nightstand. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're with Scott at Glock, and uh, he just told us all about the Glock handguns. Thanks, Thank you. Scott. My pleasure. Look at this beautiful beautiful rifle right here. I think it would match me. It suits my eyes. I think that has to be it. Mom, for my birthday. Okay, we're now at Sig Sauer. Do you know, we've got uh, Charles here from, where are you from, Charles? From Atlanta, Georgia. We've got Charles from Atlanta, Georgia here in Vegas with us. And uh, he's an expert on these guns, I would like to say. Do you own many of these? Uh, I own most of these, yeah. Okay, that's sort of frightening. I might just step away from you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about like one of these here? Sure. These are uh, six offerings on the AR platform. Uh, they're all basically a, a, a variant of the AR-15. Uh, they go from these long barrel patrol rifles down to the personal defense weapon, which is a much shorter version. It also comes in select fire for military and police use. Okay, so when you say personal defense weapon, that doesn't mean personal for me to carry in my handbag, right? Out during the week? Uh, unless you work for a government agency or okay, something so now. Okay, personal for government agency people. Gotcha. One thing I just have to say is guns can be a good thing as long as they're used properly. So all parents out there, please lock your guns up. Keep them away from kids. Keep the ammo up high. And make sure you have a license and don't have one if you don't have a license for it. So... I'm Melanie James with Las Vegas Style. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to Las Vegas Style. We've told you about all kinds of special events going on from concerts and just all kinds of cool things, openings. We have some sports going on too. Mike, what's I get to up? handle the sports. I'll, we'll let you have the sports. Let's get manly. Let's what's talk going about on? some great stuff. Nothing more manly. Get in line because this is going to be a great thing. It is the NASCAR race. So that's right. The season just kicked off, and it's coming straight to Vegas, the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And you can even catch myself. I'm going to be down there at the Neon Garage hosting an MC and partying down there with some great entertainment right in the heart of the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's coming up That's in March, I believe, the first weekend of March. No, you're there on assignment, so I don't want to go and just catch you canoodling with the flag girls. I tonight. can't wait to canoodle. <laughs> You gotta teach me how to do you that. You leave the flag girls out of it. The flag You're girls. You're there out. on assignment. There's like roller skate girls <laughs> running around. It's gonna be a great time. So make sure you're down at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. If you, if, even if you're not in a NASCAR, it's a great event to check out Absolutely. and support a local project. So that's going on. There's a fight this weekend. Put up your Dukes. The boxing capital of the world is still Las Vegas. We have a championship fight going on at the Mandalay Bay this weekend. Montiel versus Donaire. I hope I pronounced their names correctly. They're duking it out for a title that's at the Mandalay Bay. Also, another great sporting event, of course, this weekend. It's not in Vegas, but it's not too far away. In Los Angeles. That's right. It's All-Star Weekend for the NBA. They're going to have Yay! the slam dunk contest, the three-point contest, and the game usually has a lot of entertainment stuff. That's going on this weekend as well, the All-Star Weekend. We'll have some All-Star parties in Vegas. I'll be... You do that. <laughs> I mean, that's my you groove. Do, you do that. See, that's, that's what awesome. works. You like it? It's I like, I'm going to go watch Joey McIntyre and, and do my new kids on the block dances. 
on that note, we're going to end the show, but we want to thank you for tuning in to Las Vegas Style. We had a blast, and we hope you did. Don't forget to join us next week at the same place and time. We'll see you then. Bye from Las Vegas Style. Enjoy your canoodling. <laughs>